Hello and welcome back to the third part about the Novation SL Mark III. In the first two episodes, I showed you how you can use the generic Flexi to map it to Bitwig and to use the basic stuff. In the second part, I implemented the Mackie Hui protocol, which is quite old, so there's not that much features. And now in the third part, I finally am done with the full extension implementation. So we get a lot of features now by using the Novation SL Mark III three with Bitwig. So looking at the configuration first, so it should be auto detected if you put driven by MOS in the right place. If it's not turning up automatically, you can enter add and go to Novation. There is, okay, I cannot show it to you. So down there is a SL Mark three at the end of the list. Navigate down there and add that. So it should be named like this then afterwards. And if you need to map it manually, you should select the second port as both the first input and output because this is a port via the Novation talks to your door and here the first one as a second input so you can also play the keyboard and use the modulation and the pitch band wheel. We can close that down and looking at the device you need to click the in control button so this will switch then to Bitwig and you can now use the navigation buttons to start playback. You can stop playback again and if you click it again you you can go back to the beginning. You can also do that by double clicking quickly. You can have the scroll buttons to move your play cursor. You can toggle repeat and you can start recording. And you can also use a shift to toggle the override functionality. Uh, looking more to the left, you will see the eight faders. They are always mapped to volume. So what you should do in Bitwig is you should always have enabled here relative scaling because this takes care if you change the track since these are not motorized faders they will not change so it's a good idea to have it relative so you can start changing your track volume without a jump to a completely different volume and above that you will see the track leds they will be lit in the color of the track and if you move down the fader it will get more dimmed and if you move it up it will be more and more brighter it's a little bit hard to see on my crappy camera here but it looks pretty nice on the device and above are the 16 buttons here and those 16 buttons give you two options the up there are as it also set here and written in a display it says the, the upper one is mute and the lower one is solo so you can hear mute a, a track and you can solo the track as well and you can toggle that feature set if you go down here with those knobs you can toggle to record and arm so here you see your arm state of your track and also the monitoring state so you can also switch that here and also toggle the monitoring and this will be also indicated here in a display so here more to the middle there are now the pads where you can play the session there's also added a C sequencer in and you have different modes for mixing and also for changing the different parameters of your device. On the left there are only those four knobs who are of interest because all the others are fixed to the internal sequencer of the Novation but you can use here the duplicate and the clear button in different button combinations so you can duplicate clips for example or tracks or devices and uh, clear is not yet working for everything because there are still some API limitations so clear does currently only work with the clip but not with tracks or devices but I hope that this feature will be added soon to Bitwig. Below that you can change also the track so the selected track and if you're in device mode you can also change the devices so looking up here you can use the track button to change the different tracks and you could also use it in combination with shift to move in steps of eight. Also below that you can change here between the different tracks by simply clicking on the track which is named below. So there are different modes and the modes are entered by here the cursor keys on the left. If you go to the lower you see currently we are in the normal track mode which has different options. It gives you the volume, it gives you the panorama which you can change here with the knob. Also if you use it in combination with shift you can change it in slower steps and there is also up to six cents to the right. It depends how many cents you have currently enabled in your 
your session. If you click the down button, you can have all the volumes to modify the currently eight selected tracks, or you can go again down there to have the panorama. This is indicated here in this ember orange style, and you can go more down to have the sense as well. So we get the first scent here and the scents are in yellow and click it again, you're back to the first one. If you want to quickly navigate to one, you can also keep it pressed. You see then below that you get here track, volume, pan, send to quickly select this. For example, you can then click on send one and quickly move then to the send one. Going up there, so there you enter now device editing mode. So you see the parameters of the currently selected device. And there is a difference here below. So currently if it's in this mint color, you see the devices. So you can select the device you would like to edit currently, for example, here. And if you click it again, it switches then to the device pages. So you can also then select the device pages of this currently selected device. You can also click the selected one again to toggle up and down or toggle between the devices and the parameter pages. There are more features if you are in any of the modes. So if you press the shift key, the first one you can turn on and off of the device. You can toggle the visibility here of the parameters. You can extend or make it smaller, the device. You can show up the window, you can pin the device and you have the option also to insert a device before the current one, replace the current one or one after. If you do so, you can open up the browser. We will look at that in a minute. Same is here if you go to the tracks. So on the tracks, you can also have shift there. You also have the possibility to turn the track on and off to pin the track. So it changes not if you change it in Bitwig and you can select the color for the track at an instrument uh, track, audio and effect track. If you press the color, you have then the option to select all those different colors, your color of your track. Let's go with that one. And you have then now the new color of the track. So I forgot here to show you now adding a device or open up the browser. Let's insert one in front of them. So the browser works like this. In the first one, you see the tabs. So for example, you have devices or you have presets, samples, music, and so on. You can navigate between them. Here you see the filters. So you can switch to filters. Currently we are in the collection filter. You can have location filter, file type, and so on. And and here you have the setting of the filter. So currently we see everything. Now I see only my favorites. And then the last one finally navigates through the result. You can also use the knobs up there to quickly, but might be too quick for you also. And they both do the same for the different columns. Okay. And there is more options, more global options. If you use the options not there is also a mode you can here change the master volume the uh, by the way okay if we go back to tracks oh, you see always all the tracks so all the tracks are flat there is no group navigation and no switching between effect tracks or the master tracks they are always there but as a quick navigation hint i put also the master track settings for the volume and the panorama behind the options knob so we can always quickly change your master volume there is also the Option to switch between different broad set broad tracks. For example, let's go back here to the first one, or here I can go back to the second one. Here we have the tempo setting, so you can change the tempo of your song, and you could also use it to tap the tempo, turn the metronome on and off, and also change the metronomes volume. Here you can enable and disable the audio engine and execute a quantization of the currently selected clip. So that's it for this general option setting. And now below here, we have the pads. What can you do with the pads? There are actually two modes and you can change that. So the grid button toggles the functionality. You have either the option to have the clips here and the clips are pretty easy. You press them to start the playback. You can also start it via the currently selected scene, or you can select the next scene to start that playing. And you can also move down the scenes up and down here with these knob. And also if you 
keep shift press, do you have a quicker navigation in blocks of eight where you can also select them. So, but if you press the grid button again, it gets blue and this means you are now in a sequencer. So for that, let's select a drum machine. I have a drum machine here. Yes, so you see already in a drum machine, the pads are painted in the color which your pads are selected in Bitwig. So here it's done in pink or purple or what that is. And uh, you see the selected one is currently in blue and there is something playing back. And you have now a sequencer for that. So if you change here with that green, knob you will get now to the step setting so we see now the first one they are also in the colors the steps are also in the colors of the currently selected pad so you can enter notes or remove notes and if you go back here select the second one for example or select one where some note is therein so let's go here you see also here the notes and can change them if you want to switch between different pages if you have more than only 16 steps you can use those blue up and down buttons. If you are here, back to the selection view, you can also use the buttons to go up and down in a note octave. There is one option, so there is also a button. If you enable that button, you can select the resolution which is currently played. So currently we have selected 16 steps. We could, for example, change this to eight. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, maybe if I forgot something, read up the full documentation on the wiki page. As usual, there are all the buttons and all the commands explained. And if you bought the device and installed Driven by Mars and it's working nicely, I hope for you that and make some funky music.